Guys, you're watching daily FIFA 22 content, and I'm your host, John Sims, here, where we break down, we talk about the market, where you should be trading, investment type of stuff, things that, you know, what you should be thinking about the game on a daily basis, and we show you SBCs and gameplay updates. If you guys like all that type of stuff, make sure you guys check out the full playlist. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or, or like it, but I do want you to say that if you happen to enjoy it, you know, you can throw that around if you thought process into your head but basically guys today is the gold pack uh this is what a, a standard squad will kind of look like uh, there's not a lot of great trading opportunities here because they're so vastly different if you are you might be able to look into maybe a bronze packing today i don't know but it's it's not something crazy it's about four and a half thousand coins not great but that's not what we're going to be talking about today we're going to be talking more about this the team of the week okay guys the team of the week is actually not too bad. Uh, we've got that Mo Salah, man. That Mo Salah card is absolutely nuts. We're going to look at that. Mason Mount's not too bad. The Upicano, I know it's a little hard to see out here. Upicano, and then the Alaba card. And so let's break that down. Let's go check these guys out real quick. Actually, this is a tall. You set the tall card. Really not bad either. Uh, but, guys, this card is starting to become one of the best cards in the game. I uh, I mean even his 90 overall is actually pretty dang solid. I just I just think I think most all is uh I think this is probably a fair price for him. 900,000 coins for it. Uh it, this is perfect. This is pretty dang near it. But the thing about it is he has his own unique animations and he's got a ton of great traits. So uh it's just guys this card's nuts, okay? First off, that is nuts. Now is is a tall worth it to get better than oh it looks like we found a follower in between <laughs> while we're live here but guys is it worth having yusef atal over hakimi and so now we're looking at this point to where this is all solid i mean we got the four star five star he's got medium high work rates he's a lean body type outside foot shot traits it's not too bad it's really not too bad but is it worth let's compare hakimi right now that's what we're going to do and guys remember this is daily content so this is this is what you guys should be thinking about constantly whenever you see cards that enter the market and so these are just type of things that we spend five ten minutes doing and i'd probably throw an anchor on him and then hakimi i actually like the guardian more uh to boost those dribbling now look at in-game stats way above it way above it on the in-game stats that's crazy uh so in this case you know pace is probably i would say you know if you want more pace you could probably get him up to higher pace but position's about the same so shooting stats are about the same here now his volleys are a lot better and his penalties are a lot better but that's not like a huge matter you're not gonna, probably gonna be taking too many volleys from him uh vision's about the same crossing's just a tad bit better on this side and then we have short passing. Passing is about the same, but a lot more curved. Now, that could be useful down the wing. So that could definitely be a, that could be a, a big stat there that, that changes things. Now, with balance, if I, I like to put the Guardian on just because I like to make my players a little bit more agile and dribbling. And so you're going to notice a huge difference with Hakimi on the dribble on the ball uh, with that with that with that guardian on and so then you're going to have interception if you guys can hear that beeping i'm getting booked for coaching sessions so i apologize but sliding tackles about the same you got about standing tackles a little bit better but that's honestly it's the exact same just given the kim style you're about you know, about the same here as well it's about the same card now stamina now that's a big that's a big stat but also aggression's big and strength is big so it's honestly pretty dang near the same now if i go and i throw a you know an anchor like a lot of players would probably play it it's gonna look almost near the exact same except for this base stat of stamina if you look at that they're all about it's about the same card so would you rather spend a hundred thousand coins on a hakimi or settle for a five star weak foot uh at all and kind of play it that way you know i i just think that if if you're struggling for coins, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to 
have the upgraded Hakimi, I would just settle for a, a Natal because, to be honest, you're not going to notice a huge difference between these two playing. You're just not going to notice it. It's it's one of those things that it it only at elite gameplay, at a high level elite gameplay, not even elite, not even like basic entry level elite. I'm talking like qualifier type. Would I say that you should go with Hakimi over Natal? But even then, you could probably argue that you'd rather have the five star weak foot. So it's really a toss up. Um, I think the 27k for Atal is just fair for value for it. Guys, uh, in the previous sessions or in the previous content, this we talked about the David Alba card and we predicted and we predicted correct. Uh, this card should, I believe, actually drop. Uh, I don't, it's it should drop. It was up to 65k. Uh, it should be dropping here soon but uh alba this card should start to rise because he's an 84 at playable and so this card should rise a little bit if you guys want to buy in on the bull run on this one so that's not too bad but it's not going to be crazy i mean if he goes extinct he goes extinct and so you can go up to 10k or so but i, I don't know if it'll get up that high i just don't know you know it's unpredictable but there's a chance of it there's a chance of if you buy in at 2300 and then we get a decent SBC while next full week. You have a week of an 84 that was at selling at min value that is playable, that is decent, has decent links that could potentially go to uh, extinct there. So, but this card, guys, is absolutely fantastic, except for this. I don't like this. This is this is very similar to VVD in the way he his style, and I don't like the high work rate. But I do know that this high end stocky body type is absolutely insane. And if you put an engine or an anchor on him, he becomes absolutely 99. He becomes in-game strength, right? So he becomes basically the strongest player in the game, arguably, arguably. But the reactions are so low that I would just say it's not worth necessarily 100K when you could buy, uh, you know, his, 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 and I just don't see it. I don't see a huge, I don't see a drastic enough difference in like the high-end meta play to consider that to be an actual play on uh, uh to to spin that coin so that that one in my mind should drop at some point quite drastically now remember guys if you guys are investing in the team of the weeks don't buy today buy in a few days okay so if don't buy today buy in a few days buy mondays sunday night mondays uh is when i'd be buying team of the weeks uh, but when it, now we're talking about inform investing, this is where we talk about this. And so we've got like 81 overalls. We've got King. That's not going to be a bad one. So let's look at this. So I, I kind of skip all these 79s. I kind of skip that. And I go into these 81s. These are all going to be very solid to, to buy in at. If you see Yusef at all drop down to like 15K, that's a steal. Uh, he should, I think he'll drop. I don't know, man. At 27K, that's, I, I think that's a, Fair, I think 27,000 is actually a fair market value given that he's very comparable to Hakimi and it saves you coin. coins. I would say that's very fair, but guys, remember he has a lack of supply right now, so at 27, it could drop. Just depends on the uh, the market and how influencer talks like this, like this video, how many people are actually start buying it. But uh, guys like Gomez, Gomez, King, Oliver Torres, and Jocelyn, these are cards that I would be buying at 10k. And just hold on to them. If you have an extra 500k to spare, I'll just buy, you know, 50 of these cards. Uh, just buy one of each, you know, every single time. Just buy one of each. And then you've got uh, diverse, diversified assets. And then just list them up for 12k. Try to get some lazies. And then once they go out of packs, they'll they'll start to flip for you. But anything like these 82s, if you can pick them up for like 10 to 50 uh, or 10 5, 84. Now, rice is going to be a little bit, probably a little bit more expensive. But... He is going to be a big, big one. If you see him, if you see Rice, if you see this Rice card drop to, you know, 10, 5, you're really going to get, you're going to get, you're going to get a very good deal on that, okay? And then Smith Rowe, I don't think, honestly, that's almost halfway playable, but these, all these cards, if you see him drop down to like 10, 5, pick them up, pick them up. That's a guaranteed, guaranteed price increase, okay? Now, the Gulashi is going to be a decent SBC as well with an 86, and Tadich is a fantastic SBC. Uh, investment so at 14k for an 86 overall guys the market is coming there's there's a market crash coming that means there's going to be a hedge 
And so when people buy, when they sell all their assets for the Black Friday, what are they going to be buying? They're going to be buying crap like this. So for the uh, SBC breakdown, and then they sell that stuff off to and to buyers that are trying to build the SBCs out during the Black Friday. All these all these promos that are about to come out. And then guess what happens from there? Yes, you guessed it. Prices increase, therefore you return the assets. Guys, we actually have quite a bit of cover today. Uh, that's our daily content. Guys, remember, this is not for the algorithm. If you are still here, please hit the like. Please subscribe. Or not, I mean, you don't even have to. But the thing about it is, it's not about the algorithm. It's about you. It's about giving you actual content. It's not about making catchy little flops, flip flop, flip, flip, you know, stupid edits and stuff. This is about just posting consistently and daily for you so that you get actual content, real thoughts, real stuff. So... If you guys like that, maybe you pop in on on the on the the next on every single day. All right, thanks for watching. Deuces.